all right so now we will see how to sign up for a free developer org so in order to sign up for a free developer org you have to go to developer.salesforce.com that's the url you have to type in and once you are there in this page you have to click on this sign up button so click on this sign up give your first name last name let me just give my first name last name my email address my role see role here you can choose anything you want okay but uh, as of now you can just to get started with you can use uh, administrator as your role but again you can use anything that you want okay company name here also you can put anything you want but in case if you're working for a company just put that company name over here so i'll put here delhi pad as the company name and choose your country so i'm going to use india and my postal code is oh wait okay now username right see username it has to be unique so either you give your email address as your username if you have not created any salesforce free developer org with this particular email address if you have created then you have to use something else some different username so what i do right uh, i i basically have to create multiple uh, free developer editions sometime i used to give a demo to my customers and for that i might have to create a free developer org so what i do is basically let's say the customer name is uh, suppose the customer name is delhi pat right so what i do is like delhi pat at the rate rajeshchatterjee.com this is pretty much unique right i i'm not sure that i'm pretty sure that nobody has taken this particular name so far so i i'm pretty sure this name would be available so this also you can you can actually do so let's say you can do like practice at the rate your name.com okay so this will help you a lot right when you have to when you when you get into a job right uh, you might have to create a, a multiple free developer org and you might forget those uh, those org name right so what i do is this basically this right uh, based on my need i just put that particular word that initial word and then i put like at the rate my full name.com you can use this uh, it would be helpful for you right so let's have like uh, practice at the rate rajeshchatterjee.com as my username again you can use your email address as well uh, as your username uh, if you have not used it so far but your username should look like an email address okay now once you're done with that you just have to click on this sign me up button let me click on sign me up now you will receive an email in your email specified email address you have to go to that email and you have to verify it let me just open my email box okay so i had to wait for exactly 2 minutes to receive the email so just wait for one or two minutes mm, if you don't ideally you'll receive it in your inbox but in case you don't receive it in your inbox just go to your all email and uh, you know check all emails or check your spam once but but most of the time you get it in your inbox itself just wait for 2 minutes Now once you get this email right uh, this email will have a button called verify account you just have to click on that verify account button and verify yourself and give your password check one thing over here because i have given the company name as the delhi pat right automatically a domain name has been created for me with delhi pat slash dev sorry hyphen dev and uh, hyphen ed dot my salesforce dot com because this is a free developer org uh, this dev ed my salesforce.com will be there if it is a customers org then definitely only the uh, company name that you uh, you provide will be coming over there okay and this is what my username so my username is practice at the rate rajeshcharya.com that's what i mentioned over there now i'll go to this verify account and this is where i have to change my password let me give my password as this and uh, just choose a questions in which city was your first job i always give is give this as bangalore and change your password now we have signed up a free salesforce developer edition by the way this is a free developer org so uh, in this particular org you will have almost each and everything that you're going to see in your customer paid org but 
with limited stuff you cannot use this free developer org for your um, business purpose definitely uh, because there are a lot of limitations but functionality wise anything that you're going to have uh, uh, in your customers org will be there in this free developer org so salesforce has accommodated this for us to learn salesforce all right now let's understand the salesforce uh, user interface basically salesforce come up with uh, two user interface uh, one is classic which is pretty much old and the new user interface is lightning so the one that you are seeing right now in your in my screen is the lightning user interface okay uh, which looks like this and if you want to switch to your classic user interface you just click on your face over here and then switch to salesforce classic so this is me my use my full name and this is your domain name exactly what you see in my url that's the domain name right it's my company name the company name that i have specified and because this is a free developer edition this will be definitely be there in the end and in order to switch to your salesforce classic just click here and switch to salesforce classic okay so this is your classic user interface like this is how your classic uh, uh, ui will look like and uh, let me tell you what is basically the difference between salesforce lightning and classic lightning and classic uh, most of it are same okay uh, it's just the user interface which is different and a uh, few things right because say, lightning is something is going to be the future okay so few things that uh, salesforce made it available in only lightning not in classic correct okay? but at least 90 percent thing whatever you uh, you see in classic which will be there in lightning uh, we the come the difference comes in the picture when you do the development right the the, the framework that we maintain for uh, developing a classic user interface or development is is different than the lightning um, user interface right so we we have something called visual force for the uh, classic page development and we have something called lightning web component or um, aura component for the uh, lightning user interface uh, uh, creation right so as of now uh, just to uh, make it more simple right you think in this way uh, whatever you do as an admin whatever you do as an admin I mean whatever configuration that you do as an admin um, you just have to do it once okay and the same thing will be available in lightning and classic the, I'm, I'm talking about the configuration side most of it okay but there are a few certain things i mean 10% uh, of the configurations you have to do it explicitly for lighting okay we'll talk about that eventually but as of now you think it is just two different user interface and you as an admin whatever you build uh, as a back-end automation maybe you are doing some automation maybe you're creating few tables whatever you do it will be by default available in lighting and classic both and now when we progress right when we um, go on and i'll let you know what are the specific thing that you have to create in lightning explicitly right um, it will not work in classic okay so anything that you have in classic by default it comes in lightning um, most of it okay not everything right uh, but but because lightning is the future maybe down the line after a um, couple of years classic will not be there in the picture uh, so everything that we do as an admin whatever configuration that we do we will be doing it in the uh, lightning version all right and uh, if possible i'll show you after you're done with the configuration how does it look like in lightning and classic both okay because uh, I, I can say that this is the time when uh, few of the customer are still into classic right right so uh, and most of it they're into lightning eventually if the if it is a new customer that they're using salesforce that they're implementing salesforce they will be definitely into lightning user interface and few old customer have seen they are still using classic but definitely they have to move again into lightning so i'll try to showcase the output part I mean after you're done with the configuration the output part i'll try to showcase how does it look like in lightning and classic both but uh, our focus would be on only lightning all right